Hello everyone. In the last video, we had learned about how to harness the solar energy and we had seen that there were two methods to harness solar energy. First was the indirect method and second was the direct method. So in this video, we'll be learning about the direct method of utilizing solar energy. Now you might have visited places of Rajasthan and you have might have come across this device. So this device is nothing but a solar cooker and it is used to cook food where sunlight is in ample amount. Now the working of this solar cooker is very easy and its, its construction is also very simple. You can also make it at home. All you need is an aluminium sheet, a wooden box, a reflector, a glass slab and black paint. So you need only these five things and you can make the solar cooker at home. Now let's understand that how a solar cooker is made. So first of all, the wooden box is taken and the purpose of wooden box is to insulate the inside from outside surrounding. This is to ensure that no heat is getting leaked out into the surrounding. So we had taken a wooden box and to make the inside part of the wooden box conducting, we insert the aluminium sheet in this wooden box. Now uh, inside part is conducting and all the heat will be conducting to other parts of the box. Now we require that all the rays, those are falling on this wooden box should get absorbed. So what can we do? for ensuring that. Now we can paint the inside of this wooden box with black paint. Why is it so? Because black paint is a perfect absorber. So if we paint the inside of this box by black paint, then the inside part will be a good absorber of heat. So all the rays which are falling on the inside will get absorbed. Now we want that more rays should fall inside this wooden box as we want that temperature rise should be at a much faster rate. So we connect a reflector with this wooden box so as to fall more rays of the sun inside the wooden box. Now as the temperature rises as this wooden box absorbs more heat, radiations are also caused by this wooden box. And we don't want that these radiations or these, this energy in the form of radiations should lose the box as this will ultimately decrease the temperature. So to ensure that a glass slab is being used. Now what's the purpose of glass slab here? You know about greenhouse effect. It's the same effect that causes a earth to warm up. It's the same effect that causes a car spark inside the sun warm up at a very high rate. Now what happens is the glass slab allows the rays from the sun pass through it but it don't allow the inside rays to get out of through it. So what happens since inside rays are not coming out of the car or this wooden box the temperature keeps on rising and we feel that inside part is more hot than outside. So we can say that this glass slab acts like an invisible blanket which only allows energy from outside to inside but it don't allow energy from inside to go outside. Hence this glass slab ensures that inside heat gets trapped inside only. So this all completes the assembly of a solar cooker. Now let's see how it works. Now when food is kept inside the solar cooker for cooking, what happens? Sun rays starts to fall on this solar cooker and gradually the temperature starts rising. And since we had placed the glass lab also, so it don't allow the inside heat to come outside. So after some time the temperature rises and reaches to the cooking temperature 
and hence a food gets cooked. Now we can see that the solar cooker requires no additional fuel hence this is a good source of energy. Now there are some limitations or drawbacks of solar cooker as well. First limitation is same with all the solar powered devices that is what will happen when sun is not there or it is cloudy. Hence we can't use solar cooker at night times or when there are clouds. Next drawback is it takes some more time by using solar cooker to cook the food. A second direct device to utilize the solar energy is the solar cells. Now they convert the solar energy directly into electricity. Now solar cells are made up of mainly silicon. They consist of silicon arsenic layer and silicon boron layer and a potential difference of 0.5 to 1 volts develops between their outer layer and inner layer from top to bottom. So what happens we get a power output of around 0.7 watt when they are exposed to the sun. Now you know very well that this 0.7 watt is a very low output. You can't even light an LED by using this power output. So we need some more power output out of these solar cells. Now to serve this purpose many of the solar cells are connected to form solar panels. Now these solar panels have greater power output and hence these solar panels can be used to power up the appliances. Now there are many advantages of using solar cells over other sources of energy. First is that they don't cause any pollution as they are using direct sunlight. Next advantage is that since there are no moving parts hence the maintenance of these solar cells is very low. Now there are some drawbacks as well. First drawback is that the material used in the formation of solar cells is very costly. Though silicon is very much abundant but the special grade silicon used to make solar cells is very expensive and the wires used to connect the solar cells into solar panels is made up of, of silver and you know very well that silver is a very costly element. So the manufacturing of solar panels is a costly affair plus the efficiency of conversion of sunlight into electricity is very low with the current technologies. So currently we can set up solar cells in only those remote places where conventional power transmission is not possible. Now you might have heard of Mangalyaan. This was the space mission to Mars by ISRO. So this space probe also used solar cells to power up its systems and many of the satellites that go revolve around the earth also use solar cells for their power requirements. So we can say that the use of solar cells is limited to these purposes only. Maybe in future with the advancement of technology and with the advancement of science they can be both cheaper and more efficient so they could power up the world.